back to the channel. Today we are doing a rip supercharger oil change. So if you don't know what you're doing and you do not still have the book, then follow along. It is not hard at all. I'm heading to the shop right now so we can bang this out. So come along for the ride and let's get to the shop. So I finally made it to the shop. So what we have to collect to get this done is the oil, only use one. Hopefully you have this cap. It makes it way easier um, because I could not find a funnel that was small enough um, before when I didn't have this cap. So hopefully you have that cap. Um, then you are going to need a 8 mil. Um, if you have upgraded to the RIP dipstick, the dipstick's on the right side. That is the side you are going to put the oil in. And if you do not have that dipstick and you have the Vortec um, dipstick, that was provided with the kit, then you will need a five, you can't see it, 532. Whatever, yeah, you definitely can't see it. I can't get the, the uh, zoom right. So um, yeah, you will need those and then you will need A 13. And a one half. No, I'm sorry, 13 and a 9 16. 13 and a 9 16. Or you can just use a regular wrench. Um, but this is to take off the um, drain bolt on the bottom of the uh, drain line. So, yeah, with that being said, we're going to get right to it. That's all you will need. Um, it's a pretty uh, easy job, so let's just um, bang that out and get back to you.
So guys, this is why I changed my uh, dipstick. Um, for one, that the rip dipstick, um, you can use uh, sockets on. This is what happens when you do a few oil changes. Maybe you tightened it too much. Maybe the elements changed a bit so it got a little stuck. So what I had to do was take an oversized Torx, bang it on there, and luckily it came off. So I didn't have to do any screw, uh, any drilling, which would have been terrible. So then that was on the dipstick. Um, so the vent plug as well, look at that. Terrible, I had to do the same thing, it got stuck. Um, I think I might have just did it too tight, but this is what I have. To make sure that doesn't happen again. That goes there. This will go under the cover so that no elements get to it because this is the vent hose now. Um, yeah, so let me put this thing on. I just wanted to give you guys that little tip on why I switched them out and why you probably should as well. Just because over time, I mean, this, this brass, if I'm not mistaken, this brass is so weak. I just took, I mean, you can look at that. I just took a little hammer and this thing to it, a couple taps and it did that damage. Um, so yeah, that was just a quick little tip. Um, you might want to switch those out and you can find those on the RIP uh, Supercharger website. <laughs>
I don't know, well, let's just get to that stuff and let's bang out that stuff and then we can figure out what else I have um, coming to this build. But if you liked the content, if you've liked my content in the past, I would appreciate if you would subscribe, maybe leave a comment, maybe even like it, the thumbs up. Um, if not, tell me why, tell me what you would like to see. Tell me something maybe that I can do to make my car even faster. Um, mod wise that maybe someone else has done that you've seen uh but other than that i appreciate um you stopping by thanks for coming and i'll see you in the next one peace uh -huh.